foolish of a person or action lacking good sense or judgment unwise Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. All right. So this is uh, Matthew's, the 25th chapter. And um, I wanted to speak on this chapter, just a few verses here. Dealing with the ten virgins, the five wise, and five foolish. Because we're living in a time, all right, which is a a high time to awake about a sleep. You know, it's, it's a time where you, you should be serious-minded in this truth. You know, those that have woken up. And uh, remember this parable. Five wise, five foolish. Because just because you call yourself an Israelite doesn't mean you, you're the elect. The scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know, you got groups, you know, Israelite groups that are not really taking heed to the seriousness of this truth. It's more so a gathering of party. You got different Israelite groups that are about to, you know, have the Passover. They made the Passover into a concert. You know, what part of the scriptures is that? When Yahweh Shai was the, uh, was the, uh, last passover man all right so anyway i wanted to speak on uh this foolish as you as i read the definition here in google it says of a person or action lacking good sense or judgment unwise now there's something i said earlier around the lines of um foolishness is applauded and wisdom is overlooked <laughs> foolishness is applauded and wisdom is overlooked all right now this definition you know tells it all it says of a person or action so foolish starts with a person and it and it shows within their actions of the things that they do okay you know the passover is a solemn meeting man it's serious you know it's a time to mourn it's a time to you know eat in haste okay the passover represents us passing out of egypt where the lord passed over you know Yahweh Shai kept the Passover with the 12th. And it was serious. Right before he was going to be crucified, man. Right before his darkest hours. This year's Passover, okay, is in the middle of hell. You got pestilences going out, which is the coronavirus. You know, which they saying that numbers of all these people dying or this and that. You got here in the United States, they, they want to quarantine certain places. You know, they doing a lot. It's a lot going on. But instead, you got men, which is of the circumcision that know that they're Israelites, they're in the time of mirth and partying, giving into marriage, you know, going to going to a Passover concert, getting your best dressed on. And that's not the mindset to be in. That's of the foolish. So it says of a person or action lacking good sense. Is it good sense when it's when it's uh, hell outside and you partying, you know? Is it, is it is it good sense that the Lord could return any time and you have not taken this truth seriously, but seeking after vainglory, you know, filthy lucas, seeking after gang, money, you know, selling certain things. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with those things when you do it, you know, uh, uh, far as righteously. But if that's what you all about, you know, you're not really about the bitterness of this truth. Well, you're going to be upset when Jacob's trouble approach because that is prophecy. You're going to be changed into a low estate and it's going to be a great test of your faith. Do you even have a chance in the race with a mindset of foolishness? You know, when it comes to great adversity. It says lack of good sense or judgment unwise. So a person that's foolish, they lack good sense. They lack judgment. OK, you know, you can invite in anybody to your Passover. It says um, and I'm using these as an example, you know, just an example of foolish. Right. It says um, because it's actually happening. It says an unwise, you know, being unwise is you're not able to make a good decision, you know, to, to save yourself, to save your life, man. All right. Uh, oh, down here at the bottom, it says stupid, silly, 
You know, so basically a foolish person is sottish because the word sottish means stupid. The Lord said, my people are to destroy for the lack of knowledge. And because thou has rejected knowledge, he will also reject thee. All right. Now, let me go real quick and just get wise. All right. Now, wise here, it means having or showing experience, knowledge and good judgment. All right. So having or showing experience, a person that is wise, have experience. They've been through they've been through the, uh, something. OK. And they can show forth their experience according to the matter. It says knowledge, meaning they're knowledgeable. They know things. It says the, and good judgment. Good judgment means they can make a wise decision. You know, if you're teaching at the RFID microchip, not the mark of the beast. So when they go and force the chip and say you have to take it, are you going to take it? If you're foolish, you're going to take it. If you are wise in your Hawabashim Yahushai, you're not going to take it, even if you'll be presented with death. So it says having or showing experience, knowledge, and good judgment. All right. And one key word down there, it says intelligent. So another word for wise, a wise man, a wise woman could be an intelligent man, an intelligent woman. You're intelligent. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, All right. So I just want to read a few lines here. This is Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels and their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out and meet him. Then all those virgins arose and tramped their lamps. Because the wise ones, the wise uh, elect of the Lord, you know, they gave diligence in the work. To make their call in an election sure so they were wise in bringing oil when and using extra oil when needed because of the times when the lord said in first Thessalonians 5 and 1 he says um ye have no need that i write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the lord so cometh as a thief in the night because the lord is coming like a thief all right and another precept when the lord said blessed he that keepeth his garment Paul said, faith without works is dead. All right. Uh, second Peter is the third chapter. What man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So it's all about being in the right spirit. All right. You could be wicked and you could say whatever you want to re to rebuttal this lesson or what you ever you want to say because you a carnal man. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to meet Yahweh Basham Yahushai. As the scriptures say, we all shall come to the seat. We all shall come to the seat of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Roughly paraphrasing, man. We all going to uh, be faced with um, what we done in the flesh. We're going to be judged according to what we done in the flesh, whether good or bad. And the wise, you know, take heed on what are they doing in the flesh. Because when that time come, they want to be judged in righteousness, man. They want to be judged with a righteous reward, I should say. But the foolish, remember we read this, the definition, they're unwise, lack judgment, okay? So it says, um, and at midnight there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out and meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamp, <laughs> you know? Because right now you should be trimming down on your sins, you know? It's not good to be, um, you know, uh, uh, doing whatever it is that you want. And not taking heed to the Lord's uh, 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 commandments. You know, another thing is rehearsing the righteous acts in the right way. You know, right now there's prophecies popping like popcorn, man. Regardless if Esau did create the strain of the, the COVID virus. So what? The Most High uses his creatures to, as he will. Okay. You know, I heard talks about that it's not even real and this and that, whatever. Doesn't matter, man. It's Bible prophecy. The Lord does everything, man. This is all. Remember, this thing of ours and how these things is going down. It's a test on your faith, man. You know, you can hear, listen to people say, oh, oh, uh, 
no black people got it. You know, they're not showing no folks. Those are good arguments, but guess what? Do it lines up with faith in your how about me out shot. Because if it's not a faith, then what? It's sin, man. Don't let Satan trick you, man. You know? Anyway. You know, because guess what? No, let me let me continue. Let me continue. Uh then all all those seven, uh, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, least there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. So now when Esau start clamping down and quarantining you, bringing you through martial law and through Jacob's trouble, oh, now you want to find the truth. Now you want to know the truth. You see? And But instead, you should have been taking this word seriously. Now you want to go out and buy. Now you want to go out and get and learn. Before it was, oh, I know I'm an Israelite. See, it's a, it's a thing where just because you know that you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're going to be delivered, man. You know? Faith without works is dead, man. Anyway, it says, but the wise answered, saying, not so, least there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. That's why the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Because right now the Lord can be found right on the internet of these things. On the internet streets. <laughs> you know, or on the streets in your, in your local city, man. Okay? <sighs> seek the Lord while he may be found. And while, verse 10, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know, I know you not. Watch therefore for ye, watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. All right, and that's very important. That's very important. All right. These prophecies are popping like popcorn, man. It is, uh, you cough in public, people looking at you like you got the coronavirus. Don't let you get sick right now, you know? Your boss may tell you you got to leave work because he afraid that you may have it. Esau really did put a, a put fear out here, but I'm going to say the Lord put that fear out here because those that are wise are going to seek under the Lord, man. And matter of fact, am I done with this? Um, Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. It says, verse 13, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Now, I want to grab one scripture real quick and I'll close it out. And this is uh, Psalms. Psalms 91. It says, Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou, tr shall thou trust. His truth shall be thou shield and bunkler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thou habitation. Therefore shall no evil, let me read that again. Therefore shall no evil befall thee Neither shall any plague come nigh thou dwelling. Let me read that one more time. Therefore shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thou dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. 
thou, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he have set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatha, all right, which is Yahweh in the name of the Son. Bless you. Verse 15 He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Hodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.